Hey friends, Ash here with GenSense, and today I've got a haul video slash first impression video for you guys from fragranceby.ca. I've actually had these for a while, these ones sitting back here, and just haven't been able to get around to smelling them until now, other than the one that I've already opened. I did get around to that. So I've got three fragrances for you guys here today. We have Chopard Noble Cedar. We have Jesus Del Pozo tobacco wood nights really hope this one is good i'm hoping for a hidden gem tobacco fragrance and then ani from nishani which i've talked about a little bit here recently uh, i have smelled this one in the past you know samples decants things like that but did not own a full bottle until this order lots to talk about here and hopefully some killer fragrances so let's jump into this First off, let's talk about this one, I guess, because obviously I've already opened it. And this one I have talked about on the channel here recently, like I said, made my fall uh, top 10 niche list. This one, very, very good. A fragrance known for its vanilla note. That's not all that's in here. There's also sandalwood and cardamom and benzoin and black currant and ginger and bergamot. So it's not just vanilla, but like I said, just now and in the top 10 list, people will always bring up that vanilla. Let me show you guys, I guess, just the presentation really quickly. And since I have talked about this one more recently, we'll kind of leave it there and keep on chugging to these next two. Presentation time, your typical Nishani bottle style. This one has a little label on the front. It's got kind of a rubberized feel to it. The cap does not click into place, slides into place, and it's a very heavy cap. I mean, it looks heavy. It is heavy. Atomizer on this is very good. I'm not going to waste the spray for you guys. Sorry. And it's an extra to parfum concentration. And here's your box. It's got your slip cover, and the box has kind of a slightly rubberized feel to it. So sometimes it's hard to get it out of the slip cover. It wants to stick. And then on the inside, you have a little postcard. If I can get this out, which has the note breakdown. There it is right there, notes on the bottom. So uh, I guess I'll run through this really quickly. Top of bergamot, green notes, blue ginger, and pink pepper, made of black currant, Turkish rose, and cardamom. Base of patchouli, cedarwood, vanilla, benzoin, ambergris, musk, and sandalwood. Actually, fragrance by probably your best bet as far as discounted Nashane fragrances goes. Um, they typically have a really good selection and the prices really good as well so let's sit that back there and we'll just hang out there and keep me company I guess while we go through these let me jump into the show part first this one is noble cedar I also got in oud malaki a little while back also by the same house and I haven't featured that one yet we got to check out that presentation first so let's do it here is your box, name of the house, name of the fragrance, size and concentration, all there on the front. This one, kind of a different size. You don't see so often 80 milliliters, not your more typical 100, and also not a 2.5 ounce either, is it? 2.7 ounce, so a little different. You got a C on the top there, nothing doing on the sides. On the back, you have your ingredient info, and on the bottom, your batch code is 1234. I am not making that up. One, two, three, four. It's like the luggage code for idiots. If that's your luggage code, I apologize. And it's right there. And here is your bottle. Got the name of the house, name of the fragrance, right here. Got a sticker on the bottom, and that sticker does have your batch code. You have Chopard on the top of the cap. Does click into place, like that right there. And uh, to an extent, maybe this is like a classier looking Hugo Boss The Scent bottle. That's what it reminds me of a little bit. Although maybe overall I'm more partial to the Hugo Boss bottle styling. It's not the exact same or anything. It's just, you know, those lines. Let's go ahead and spray this one on, see how it smells. Name of the fragrance, Noble Cedar. So I'm expecting cedar. I like that, it's nice. Not ultra super complex, but it is fresh. Fresh woody fragrance bit of birch in here but not too smoky and off the top actually not a not a heavy scent of cedar it's there but it's not heavy 
and there's a little bit of herbaceousness from sage in here. Yeah, not a super heavy woodsy fragrance, just simple, fresh, masculine, maybe slightly mature, but not at all like an old man fragrance. It's more of just a woodsy scent. It's not trying to be super sweet. It's not trying to be bubble gum. It's not trying to be ginger and citrus and sweet mint and apple and all the stuff that you know gets thrown at you nowadays with modern men's designer releases again nothing really inherently wrong with that people absolutely love it and i understand it's easy to wear that type of fragrance this one's just going for a simpler clean wood approach now is there isoe super in here for sure for sure and i'm going to let that dry a little bit as we crack into this one jesus del pozo tobacco wood nights Hoping it's good, hoping it's good. Obviously, a tester. You can see there, it just has the name of the uh, house, name of the fragrance, size and concentration, but it's not really the type of box that you're gonna show off. And here we have the bottle. Not a whole lot going on here, kind of rectangular, gloss black finish. You've got the name of the fragrance, name of the house, and then you have this little design that wraps all the way around. On the back, it does say, tester little sticker right there batch code here m is in mary 10679 okay cap does click into place and the gold carries over onto the atomizer here go ahead and give this one a spray and hopefully we have a real winner here a new high class tobacco Pretty good, I like it. It's got this little pop, little effervescence in the opening, sort of like how some fragrances will have something that smells like Dr. Pepper or cola, you know, soda in the opening where it has this almost carbonated pop off your skin, but it has that slight syrupy kind of sweetness to it. That is in this fragrance in the opening. Yeah, yeah, this is solid. Cardamom, saffron combining, so two sweet spices and they kind of just leap off your skin. Really appealing. Little touch of darkness in there, but more on the playful side than like a, you know, really dense, heavy, super masculine kind of scent. It's not like that. Kind of wouldn't surprise me if uh, a house like Varvados put this out. I'm not saying it smells like one of the John Varvados fragrances, but I'm saying if they had released this as a, a new tobacco scent, it wouldn't surprise me too much. There's a little bit of clove in here. It's behind the saffron, behind the cardamom, behind this sort of sweet leather and tobacco accord that's coming out. It's not really heavy. Uh, it's not even gonna be all that noticeable, I would think for most people. So if you don't like clove, I, I wouldn't freak out. I know some people hate that note and I can pick it up kind of like on the tip of my nose, if that makes any sense. Like when I smell it, I catch just like this little, this little, this little hint to that clove, you know, just kind of creeping out there. This is good. This is really solid. I think the packaging could use a little work, but the fragrance is nice. Yeah. Like the sticker looks a little on the cheap side or maybe a lot on the cheap side, but can't argue with how it smells. I like it. Okay, let's check back on Noble Cedar and then we'll check back on tobacco wood nights and call it a video uh, again ani talked about it already it's good it's real good <laughs> like i said guys i got these all from fragrance by they're based in canada so that's why it's fragrance by .ca. i believe fragrance by.com takes you there too nowadays though and they are a, a great discounter for niche fragrances uh, designer fragrances and they ship to the u.s really quickly so do check them out. I'll leave a link in the description. Great stuff there. Noble Cedar. This one, not at all a love for me. It's a like though, it's a like. It's an easy to wear, pretty simple, clean, kind of modern woodsy scent. That's pretty much it. Not a whole lot of sweetness, not a whole lot of spice, just mainly those woods and a bit of the sage. It's an easy to wear fragrance, a good casual fragrance, a very versatile fragrance for sure, because nobody's gonna ever dislike it. It's just 
ultra easy to pull off, but I don't know that there's really a whole lot to keep you coming back outside of just wearing it as kind of a, like I said, a dumb reach, just an easy to pull off woodsy scent. Not real heavy uh, on the woods. Again, they're not aggressive. They're not like heavily spiced woods or super deep and rich woods or anything like that. And now tobacco wood nights. Yeah, I still like this. This is nice. There's a bit of a syrupy sort of sweetness to it. Initially, in the opening, it had that sort of poppiness, you know, that soda kind of vibe. That's toned down a little bit, but it still has the syrupy sweetness to it. This is actually really, really, really solid. This is a lot better than I was expecting. I was hopeful, okay, I was hopeful that it was going to be a solid tobacco fragrance. Hopeful. Did I expect it? Maybe not, because again, the packaging didn't really grab me, didn't grab my attention, but this is really, really, really nice. Between these two, Noble Cedar and Tobacco Wood Nights, I would take this hands down 10 times out of 10, for sure. So if you're looking for a new tobacco fragrance to check out, particularly one with some sweetness to it, with that sort of soda type vibe off the top, drying down to feature sweet spices, a little bit of leather, some tobacco, and labdanum. Check this out, check this out. I don't think you'll be disappointed. Ooh. It does have more of a syrupy sweet smell from the atomizer, I'll tell you that much. All right guys, it's gonna do it for me. And these three fragrances right here, again, link in the description where you can pick these ones up. I think this one, this one's the winner of the day. I mean, Ani didn't really, didn't really count <laughs> because I've already talked about it a lot, but Nishane, can't go wrong, can't go wrong. But this Jesus Del Pozo, super surprising, and I'll probably try to pick up some more Jesus Del Pozo fragrances uh, in this line see if those ones are equally as good as that one because that one from where i'm sitting right here smelling this with the weather getting cooler whew, nice all right guys it's gonna do it for me thanks for hanging out with me today thanks for your support and i'll see you guys tomorrow with another fragrance video see you guys